Business editor Richard Southern joins us once again from the home office. Hi, Richard. Hey, Janella, happy uh, Friday Eve to you. Yes, Friday Junior. <laughs> uh, Richard, you, like many people, uh, aren't driving into work. Uh, the, the car is sitting in the driveway for many at home. And uh, now some Ontario drivers will be able to catch a break from their insurance companies. Hopefully. I mean, I've heard from friends, Janella, and they say, I got a letter in the mail the other day about my auto insurance premiums going up. Ugh. We're not driving. You think they should be going down right, right now, right? The Ontario government today, they are now enabling auto insurance companies to give temporary premium rebates to drivers for up to a year. However, it's up to the companies mm. to act. Finance Minister Rod Phillips says he's going to be watching to see how the companies respond. It is true, though, that many auto insurance companies have already responded. Some people have gotten rebates. Others have gotten letters in the mail asking them to apply for a rebate. Some of these letters stipulate that you can only drive for essential trips to get a re rebate, like to go to groceries or medical appointments. Janella at Queen's Park, the opposition NDP, they want to see the government mandate a three-month 50% discount for auto insurance. Again, mm. right now, this is just something that's left on the industry to do. Right. It's one thing to open the door and say you can do this if you want. It's quite another to say it has to be done. Yeah, but again, companies are doing it. Your best advice, uh, uh, advice to reach out to your company and see what they can do for you. Okay. Now, we know lots of industries are hurting uh, through this pandemic, but for Canadian farmers, they're, de they're having to deal with this in a unique way. It's tough. We talked last week about some dairy farmers throwing milk down yeah. the drain. Um, mushroom farmers are having some trouble. I talked to the uh, co-owner of Carlton Mushroom Farms up in Ottawa. They grow a ton of creminis and portobellos and button mushrooms. They don't have many buyers for them right now, and it's because the food service industry is pretty much shut down. Take a listen. The wholesale market for restaurants, uh, pizzerias and that. And so those numbers have dwindled down. You know, we're, we're having a hard time selling that type of product for the food service. So we've been uh, donating it to the food banks and, and um, soup kitchens. Well, thank you for your donation on behalf of everyone. How much longer can you go like this? Well, we're going to have to keep going till it's done. You know, we're, you know, we're farmers and, you know, we do thick and thin. We always make things work. You, you, you got to love the spirit that the farmers have right now, but many of them are hurting, uh, Janelle. I guess there's not so many at-home recipes that call for mushrooms, right? Like, maybe that's no, what not, we've got to do. Unless you're is start a fancy at-home chef, you mightn't be using very many cremini, so that's kind of the issue right maybe now. Maybe we've got to get some viral videos of some, some easy at-home recipes that you could do with mushrooms and help these guys out. Exactly. Okay, w one thing other than baking and cooking at home that lots of people are doing is also shopping online. I know we were just talking about the break about the online shopping that I've been doing. That's some retail therapy in these strange times. Uh, so one business that isn't hurting, hurting these days is Amazon. They have too much business, and so they're actually trying to uh, have their customers maybe buy a bit less, believe it or oh, not. Wow. Uh, yeah, Amazon, they're sort of getting rid of the tactics they normally use to get you to buy more products. Uh, they're doing away with their annual Mother's and Father's Day deals. A particular note, they have postponed indefinitely their Prime Day deals, which has been very popular mm. for them in the past. Uh, Amazon uh, announced earlier in the week they're looking to hire another 75,000 people to work in their warehouses. We're seeing this reflected on the stock markets. Amazon just this afternoon, Janela, closed at a fresh record high as everyone looks to buy what they need online right now. Well, I've seen some and Janela, people, you yeah. and I are back just after 6.30. Uh, we're looking at some uh, interesting stories coming up, including... Um, uh, a uh, interesting story about Banksy, the UK artist, and how he's working from home. That's just after 6.30. Yes, can't wait to chat about that. Thanks, Richard. We'll see you then. Thanks.